Hello, namaste. Today I wanted to go over something that is done in a lot of yoga classes, especially mine. Uh, I've heard this called many things. You can call it bird dog. I've heard it called a uh, spinal extension, uh, uh, Sanskrit. I've heard it called chakra vakasana. And I've even heard it called sunbird. So several names this can go by. But I want to show you a lot of different options. So sometimes when we're in a yoga class, we don't have time to truly explore each option to find out what actually works for us. So I want to give you some options that maybe you can use next time you go to a yoga class. All right, so first thing we're going to do is the traditional setup. So for the rest of the class, for the rest of this little video, I'm going to call this spinal extension. Okay, so we're gonna come over into tabletop on your hands and knees. Now the first option that you have is to pad your knees. Knees can be irritated for many reasons. They don't have to have a, a replacement. They can be irritated just being on the floor. The floor can be hard. Feel free to put a blanket underneath your knees as needed. Okay, perfectly fine. We'll take our hands underneath the shoulders. Knees will be underneath your hips, trying to get a strong tabletop. Now, another thing you can support is your wrist, which is what I will be supporting. If you want to support your wrist, you can take your blanket and place your wrist on the blanket, your fingers will be draping onto your mat or the floor. So this kind of keeps your wrist from doing a, a full 90 degree extension, which can cause pain. So we've already got lots of options to discover. So come into your tabletop position, pressing the floor away with your hands, lifting and spreading the collarbones, lifting the belly. Now from here, we're going to take the right hand out, shaking a hand. So notice that the palm is facing the center line. Then we'll take the left foot back, touching the toe to the floor. And this is where we start. You can stay in this position, gathering the strength in your back and your core, gathering your balance. Perfectly fine to stay right here in the balance. The second stage will be to lift your left foot up. So the left leg is straight, the right arm is extended out. You're lifting more with your inner thigh on the left leg than the outer thigh on the left leg. So you're truly trying to get the leg lifted straight. So notice we're extending from wall to wall, from the fingertips through the heel. And then we'll come down. So that is generally the first thing that we work with, getting that spinal balance. Now, we also have been known to add some movement, okay? So what does that mean? Left foot back, right arm out, lifting the leg, engage the belly. Take an inhale. On your exhale, we'll bring the elbow toward the knee. They don't have to touch. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and then come down. Sometimes when we do that, we get very wobbly. And that's normal, there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna show you what to do when you feel wobbly. Left foot back, right hand out, lift the left foot. If you 
you start feeling wobbly doing this balance, keep your hand down. Just move your leg. Okay? Nothing wrong with this while you're getting the strength in your balance. And then come back down. Okay? So we've already gone over quite a few different ways to that you can modify these when you're in a class. Now, what if you can't get down on the floor at all? That no matter how many blankets or anything you put under your knees, it is just not comfortable. All of these can be done standing, and I'll show you how. You'll take a chair, any chair, doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be a special yoga chair. It could be a dining room chair, an office chair, just not one with wheels. All right. So to do the spinal extension using a chair, we're going to stand in front of our chairs, see, just as we would stand in mountain pose, hip hinge so that we bring our hands to the chair seat. We're going to stack the shoulders above the wrist, hips above the ankles as much as possible, taking the feet about hip width distance. Then we do the exact same thing. Press the chair away to lift your collarbones, engage the belly, look out onto the floor, find something to stare at. And here, this should look familiar. Take your right hand out, shake a hand, left toes back, touch the toes. Staying here, perhaps lifting the left leg. Again, you lift more with the inner thigh than the outer thigh. Reach from wall to wall. Keep the belly engaged. This is your static hold. All right. See, you can do that on the chair. You don't even have to get on your knees. Now, the moving one is a little more complicated, as you will see, because you don't want to run into anything. So, we'll come back to our standing tabletop, right hand out, left toes back, lift the left leg, reach from wall to wall. Take an inhale. On your exhale, elbow to the knee, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and come down. And there you have it. So there's, those are some options that you can try the next time your yoga teacher says, let's work with bird dog, spinal extension, or even sunbird. Whatever we call it, you have something to try. Thank you for watching. Namaste.